Okay. <laughs> Staring into space, Jace. It feels like it must be drinky tea time, but yeah, we'll do we'll do the, the check-in first, and we'll uh, we'll crack on. Um, I'm just looking at Berry over here. It looks like a <laughs> Berry. Come over here. We've... Berry's got a very sore paw. Oh my gosh, she looks disgusting when you get up close. Right. She's got a sore paw. She's got a little boot on. Right. She's she cut her paw, but she, we can't stop her running around. She's been opening doors, getting out of the house. We tried to keep her in, but um, yeah, anyway. Um, so today, did, did you tell everyone, Penny, what we're up to? Yep. Um, so it's a really, really windy day. So you're not, definitely not gonna be able to hear me when we go down into the arena. Um, so I thought I'd just well, tell you what I'm gonna do. I've got a young horse, which some of you may have seen um, in one of the other check-ins, a um, governess. I think it was a second ride or something like that. Well, today she's coming along um, and I'm going to try some polo cross with her. I have, I have done a little bit of homework with her just before this to prep her so I can get to the point where I can ride her. But this will be her first, first day with a polo cross stick on her. And she's, she's one of those horses that's really nice when she gets it. But when she's not sure, she's got a quite a sort of a sharp, sharp way about her. But she's, um, when she gets it, she's as sweet as anything. So I'm very careful to try not to um, cut too many corners with her because that could cause a, I can imagine, could cause a problem. Anyway, so far so good. Um, I suppose I'll we'll pop down and have a quick look. I'll just run quickly through the process that, that I've been going through. She's sort of okay with it now. And then I'll, I'll have a quick ride around the school and, yeah, show you, show you where she's up to, I suppose. Yeah, so, so when you say you're going to play polo cross on her, she's not a polo cross pony, but it's something you do with all of them as part of the training process, isn't it? Yeah, well, for me, you know, I just teach them the process of desensitising. So with polo cross, which is my sport... Um, you know, you've got to lean off, you've got to move around on your horse, you've got a stick in the hand and there's a ball as well. So if you can get your horse used to that, then, you know, your, your horse's tolerance is much higher in terms of desensitising or being um, able to cope with the environment and what you have. So, so I do it with all starters. When other people might use a stick in a bag and stuff like that, we just have a bit more fun. Yeah, I, we... I used to do that, and, I, and then I sort of joined the dots a little bit. I thought, what am I doing this when I could be doing polo cross? Practising polo cross and helping the horses. I thought, just, yeah. it's a no-brainer. But it is quite funny when you're on, like, 17-2 dressage, you know, that are off yeah. to, you know... Yeah. I've almost got to warm up. I, know, I tell you what I need, I need to get a little extension on my stick. <laughs> yeah. so I go around, if I did a video, I'd be missing the ball all the time because they're, they're an extra couple of foot higher than I'm used but to. The governess, <clears throat> so governess is actually a, <clears throat> we'll just go over here and see her. <clears throat> talk now, shall I go? Yeah, so governess here, she's three-year-old um, section D, Welsh <clears throat> section D, but she's quite a big... Welsh, um, you know, almost a horse, really. Um, she's actually our small, our smallest one we've got in at the moment. Jason, if you're following on Instagram, he's got a load of big competition horses in um, for starting. So I think he quite likes getting back on governess, and uh, yeah, <laughs> he can get on her a bit, a bit more easily. So, um, as Jason said, I think we used Governess a couple of weeks ago when she was in her first or second week. So you saw her on her second ride, I think. So we just thought it'd be really interesting for you um, to see her now um, she's going. Um, so the progress in, in two weeks. So this is, she's going into her fourth week of training. And after, at the end of this week, she's going to go home for a little break and um, then tally her owner will get, get her own saddle sorted and things like that so that when she comes back, um, she'll get her own saddle on and Jason's going to prep her for sort of handing over and um, Tally can crack on and um, she'll be a, a lovely 
ridden horse yeah so she has got long legs for a welsh section d you're right um i think the stud that she comes from they they breed more sort of competition kind type i could be wrong but um yeah they do breed some of them to be a little bit bigger um a bit taller i did actually i should have grabbed her passport so then i could tell you the name of the stud so Jason's just going through this um, desensitization process and you might have seen it. Other trainers might use sort of bags on sticks and things like that, but Jason uses his polo cross racket and a ball. You can see she's not entirely sure of it all. Um, so as Jason said at the beginning, she she's a little bit untrusting to start with when you do, do things, but... Um, once she gets it, she's absolutely great. She's lovely. Desensitize is he desensitizing her for polo? Yeah, as, as I, we said at the beginning, she's not going to be playing polo or polo cross or anything like that. Jason just uses this as a process within the, the starting program so that it's just increasing their tolerance to things. Um, you know, everything else is gonna be a breeze trotting around those dressage arenas and things like that um, yeah so it's just all part of getting them used to the to lots of different things in the big wide world I don't know if you can hear but it is so windy here if you're um, in the UK and you're down in the southeast um, we got absolutely battered last night by um, a storm oh my, my Zminach breed bigger section Ds. There's no upper height limit on a registered D. Thanks, Louise. She is, I'm sure that's the stud, my Zminach, that she's from. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the stud she's from. Oh, hi, Tally. So we've got Tally, the, the owner on. I hope she behaves. <laughs> um... I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, about the storm. Like, you know, we had a really real storm come through um, last night. We've got trees down and all sorts, you know, nice for the beginning of May, but we did get rain. So that is an absolute bonus. So I can't ever, we didn't get a drop of rain all of April, which as anyone knows in England is crazy. Um, so our fields are looking a little bit um, more bare than usual. So what sort of saddle is used for polo cross? A uh, polo saddle? No, you can play polo cross in any saddle, but um, Jason's still using his stock saddle on Governess because um, uh, his owner hasn't actually dropped off a, 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 a saddle for her yet, but hopefully that will come She's going home for her break in a couple of weeks. So when she comes back, she'll hopefully come back with the, you know, the tack that she will end up being ridden in um, by Tally, by, by her owner. It's really important with the tack before they go home that they're used to the saddle that they're going to be in because they do all feel different. And the saddle fitting process can sometimes really upset them actually. So as you can see from a couple of weeks ago when Jason rode her in the round pen for the second time ever, she has come a very, very long way. She's going to be, a, oh, the sun's come out. That's nice. I was freezing. And she's going to be a really smart pony or small horse, really. Just watch it go around. Yeah, Jason just says it's so windy here. It's um, yeah. So apologies. You're probably getting a really awful sound. So from the ground upwards, he's done all the desensitising with the racket and the ball. So now um, he's just putting that together whilst riding her. And again, it's just little things with this. It's like she's getting used to a bit of neck reining and being able to ride with one hand. And I know that's not particularly important to lots of people, but you know, if you're out on a hack and you need to, um, 
you know, do gates and things like that. For your horse to be comfortable being ridden by, with one hand is a, you know, is a massive bonus. I'm not sure what Tally's got um, planned for governess. Um, but even with horses that are going to go on and be, you know, eventers or dressage horses and all all sorts and even the race horses that come um you know being able to do stuff like this is just you know a bonus and it's part of their education and um part of making them good grounded horses and being able to cope with um everything that gets thrown at them in their ridden career oh bit of bending poles that was rosie she'd set up all the games equipment of the weekend She's taken to this really well. He's going to try a little canter. She just seems to be going a bit faster. She's struck off on the right, uh, wrong leg. Jason won't be too worried about that. Okay, off she goes. And at this stage, when they're babies, they sometimes their canter can be a little bit unbalanced and rushed. But that'll all come. Hi, Gemma. I know Tally's got kids, so um, maybe in a few years' time... Governess will be a lovely pony club pony, be able to do everything off at pony club and um, she might even do a bit of polo cross, you never know, or mounted games as well as um, jumping and all sorts of things. And you'll see that Jason hasn't got any contact really going on with these um, reins and things. He's just sort of letting her go round, floating around. All of that contact and getting them on the bit and all that kind of stuff will, um, will happen over the next you know, couple of weeks when she comes back after her break. And with her, you know, as she goes on with Tally. I think Jason's having too much fun to actually stop and have, and have a word. It's far too much fun, Jace. How's she going? It's all about. She's going really nice. Not, not bothered by it, just going as I want her to go and taking it all in a stride. She's, yeah. It's like I say, once she gets it, she's... She's great. She really wants to work with you, this, this yeah. little mare. you just got to be a little bit um, tactful, I think, is the word we're looking for. When yeah. you're, you know, you got to have a bit of a process and just introduce her to her right. She goes, oh, okay, if that's what you want, on we go. And you can see that with her now. So. Uh, she's a really nice, nice pony. Oh, having a little snort after the weekend. Oh, actually, it's not, uh, not after the weekend. <laughs> she's yawning. <laughs> Was that a bit tiring? Was that a bit tiring? All right, so Tally's going to come and see her on Friday being ridden and then she's going to go home for a two-week break. And, uh, yeah, so not bad after um, three, weeks of, three weeks of work. Um, Jason's doing a good job, says his wife. <laughs> oh, we'll just watch another couple of minutes and then um, I need to go and get warm. I think it's a cup of tea time. If Tally's still there, I'd love I'd love her to uh, put a note and see see what she thinks. Never know, Tally. You can come and hop on on Friday and have a go at polo cross on her. Righto, guys. Well, we might leave it there. How 
is Hamish doing? Does he have a website as well? Yeah, Hamish is great. He is working very hard. Um, there is plenty of work to go around, put it that way. Um, yes, he does have a website. It's um, hghorsemanship.co.uk. Um, so more news is that um, Millie, the eventer, who, Millie Kruger, who's normally here on Tuesdays, jumping ridiculously huge fences on Sam. Um, so she's stopped taking, stopped riding other people's horses. Um, and she started a bit of a new career, although she'll still be competing Sam. Um, so we are gonna be having a couple of new people on the yard soon. So um, we'll talk about that soon when that's all fixed up. Um, Hamish's brother, Rue, Ruri, he's down living with him. So we've got two Scotsmen on the yard at the moment, which is fun. Yeah, so lot, a few changes, but um, all good ones, all exciting. Righto, we shall leave you there. Yeah, if you're, if you're on Instagram, pop, a, pop on each day and you can see the progress of um, some of the other horses we've gotten on training. Love Andrea Dean, love a Welsh Section D, yeah. She is a particularly nice one. We don't get a lot of um, native ponies these days. They tend to be sort of these massive, <laughs> massive form bloods that Jason does mostly. So I think he's really enjoying Governess. Um, perfect, righto. Well, we'll see you next Tuesday when um, who knows what we'll be doing. Hopefully it'll be a bit warmer than this though. All right, have a great week, guys. Bye.